There we go. Okay, I was just doing bunny ears for y'all. There you go. For the little we're getting in the spirit. Bitty hoppity right. Easter's on its way. Bobbing down the trail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here comes Peter Cottontail. Um, hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome to Trail Talk. We yes. are super glad you could join us today. Y'all hungry? Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> I love it when we do just little funsy ones like this where we do a little craft or a little treat. I know. And yes. um, because it's even though um, it's probably as much or more prep work than the I bet it is, but you know, it's fun. For the, it's fun because we know the reward at the end is we get paid. Exactly. <laughs> that's exactly right. So anyway, um, we're coming to you live from our classroom studio, and I'm Edie. And I'm Mary. And uh, yeah, we've got some super fun little Easter treats. Now, before we go any further, I just want to point out the pink um, cow girl hat. And the little card in front of it are there for a reason. Um, we want to draw your attention to it right off the bat. That's right. Because Saturday is the day. Raining in the arts is finally Rita here. is going to arrive. That's right. That is Rita. the acronym. Raining that. in the arts. Get it far <laughs> Anyway. Um, so you guys are going to want to put that um, day on your calendar. We're here till, from 10 to 5. Pre-admission. Yeah. Pre-admission. Come and go. There's going to be all kinds of fun things. Artists, artists, performing artists. We're going to have musicians like all day, literally from 10 to 5. We're going to have dancing troops here. There's a workshop type thing where you can sign up online now or you can um, sign up day of for the kite making. Yes, for, yeah, for kite making classes. Um, there's going to be the... Um, uh, the alpaca mm -hmm. um, ball thing, right? The crossed arrows yep. is coming. Uh, kettle corn, wine slushies, two Cajuns. That's right. Come hungry, guys. Come thirsty. Mean, come ready to just soak it all up. Exactly. And you know what? There's an event happening at the Simmons Center. Uh, they're having like all these uh, booths and all these things set up for a women's uh, focus weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a name, and I'm, I apologize for not knowing the name. But if you wanted to go to that, Come here before, come here after, come and come go up. back and forth. That's right. I mean, we are just across the parking lot from each other. So I think it's going to be a win, win, win day. That's right. We're going to be here all day. Yeah, that's so right. Come see us. And I mean, you guys are faithful watchers. <laughs> We're always up for autographs. <laughs> I couldn't say that without <laughs> laughing. I'm so sorry. We might laugh if you ask us. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, we appreciate you guys who watch. Um, so let's just get going. All right, let's do it. Let's go. So the first um, fun little treat we're going to make, these are little um, Easter meringue. Delicate. Yeah, very delicate. So um, these are meringue, I'm going to call them like nests. Okay. Oh, I've already crunched it. Yeah. Edie spent time and created these. That's right. So if, I'm going to highly recommend a stand mixer because you just drop your egg whites in there, get them to where they have some peaks going, drop your cream of tartar in, and then start adding your sugar by the tablespoon. And I mean, you can find a recipe to make uh, nice. things like this anywhere. And I just went for a more rustic look. I told Mary, um, it, was a, it was a struggle. I was afraid it was gonna be a Pinterest fail when I first started dipping these things out. But, but you know what? Yeah, they turned out. And so very simple recipe. This is the most work. It bakes for about, these probably bake for 30 minutes. You start at one temperature and then turn it down. Mm -hmm. And then you leave them, leave them in the oven with the door open and, a little bit. and let them finish cooling mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're, I mean, they're delicate, but you can handle them. Right. And so you take curd, the original recipe called for lemon curd. I happen to have key lime curd, and so it, there are, of course, a ton of recipes where you can make your, you own, can make curd, your own curd, but it's basically short step. I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of like a pie filling, mm -hmm. but it's, like it's a pudding. yeah, it's a picture. lovely, cold, very just beautiful, I mean, Mouth water and just a little bit. <laughs> this stuff, I mean, it's got that tangy. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. Bite to it. And I mean, the, the meringue is pretty sweet. So yeah, you just kind of fill in your uh -huh, circle there. Put, yeah, just fill in your little center. And um, then to add to make the final little mm -hmm. cuteness to it, 
um, we're going to lay some fruit. I mean, we got to have, have add a little health healthy measure to it. So right? here we have, and here's some blueberries that have been mm -hmm. rinsed and drained, and some beautiful fan strawberries. Cut strawberries. And then I brought a little um, cutie, these little cute, just tangerine, or not tangerine, like just a little, little hand, like the little kid. Yeah, a little kid size oranges because I thought that the little tiny wedge like segments mm -hmm. would be so cute. You're working with a small canvas, if you would, anyway. Well, so you don't want to overpower everything that you're putting on there with that. Yeah, one. yeah. Did I shoot you? Sarah? Sorry. Yeah. Put hey, a, I'm going to smell citrusy fresh. Put an eye out like that. <laughs> okay, so there's Thank a you. little touch for yeah. you there. And I'll pop off a little bit for me. And look what's just arrived. Delivery. Oh, <laughs> special delivery. All right. So um, I, we can, I think we okay. can go ahead and finish. Okay. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Thank okay. You. okay. Thank yeah, you. Because we're just assembling. Thank you, Bailey. So now you just kind of slice. Yeah, on, however, just kind of peel off that extra stuff, and yeah, just kind of. I loved it whenever you said uh, canvas. Mm -hmm. I thought that is exactly what this is. This is food art from here out. It's like making your own little individual like fruit pie, you know? Oh yeah, exactly. And I mean, this would be a very fun activity. Um, you could do this with the kiddos. Oh yeah. Um, or, I mean, what a delightfully little pretty presentation this would be on your um, Easter table okay. to have these little, boy, those are some fat blueberries now. There's mine. I'm going to go. I got those at Walmart. Those are looking pretty good. I had some leftover. So, so there you go. Mm -hmm. We can transfer these now to... Um, our platters up there to where you guys can see them but what a lovely little there you go that is so cute mm -hmm. I love that well, those turned out way cuter than I was even thinking they would and the brighter colored nice. fruit you have being the more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. kind of pop yeah exactly and it, I mean don't limit to what we have here because you can do any fruit yeah any I kind mean, of curve color mm -hmm. raspberries whatever mm -hmm. um blackberries just very <laughs> you name it mm -hmm. okay so um get my stuff out of the way here. yeah okay we're going Ms. Bailey to brought in our chocolate of course our almond bark that's the milk okay so we're going to go to our next one this was the one that we used um for our picture for what we were making so this is going to be just some little um chow mein noodles mm -hmm. And some chocolate almond bar. Is ready to that? Yeah, stir that up for us. And this is going to be your basic, uh, we used to call these like haystack mm -hmm. cookies, you know, um, but just covering this the noodles cover, there in the chocolate. A little bit more noodle action there. Don't have too much chocolate. And so you probably have already figured out what these are going to be. Um, we're going to make cute little nests, and we have probably the favorite around here in yeah. way, the Cadbury mini eggs. Yes, can't um, go wrong. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to pull my sleeves up. I can feel a mess coming on here. All right. Got a little bit of orange on that. Orange and chocolate taste good together, but I don't know. So, so then I'm just going to spoon out oh, some of this. Yeah. Get more. Yeah, put some of this on my plate here. And you probably won't be able to, well, you can make a little bit of an intention. Yeah, form it a little bit. And then um, just going to take a few of these eggs. There we go. Cute colors. I like the colors. They make me think of They have a metallic too that you can do. Got the Cadbury egg. Really? Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty <laughs> similar. Kind of yeah. There you are. The Cadbury egg. egg. The candy eggs. Guru. Candy guru. Oops. Okay. I kind of forced it there. That one is going to have to come off. It's too much. Filled my nest back up a little bit. Let's see. Now, this is one that. Um, I'm not going to be able to pick up and move. We're going to have to set the whole plate 
over there up, up there yeah because um they'll have to set up you guys know how this almond bark stuff is though it it actually dry uh, yeah dries and sets up pretty quick so and I mean boom that's all that's literally all there is yeah. to that yeah, one. Mine is oh, those are cute. That looks cute. Even with the chocolate on the outside of the egg, mm -hmm. um, it gives it that little kind of spotted yeah, egg. Extra. Yeah, spotted egg look. A little orange juice on that. So anyway, there you go. Look at how cute. Aren't those just the cutest little things? And what kid wouldn't love to just oh walk by and nab some of those and chow on it? Chocolate. Yeah. And you could even do like they have the little eggs that have peanut butter in them. Right. Yes. Whatever egg or, you know, yeah. whatever you choose to do. Really. True. True. That's exactly true. Yeah. So, okay. Um, all right. We'll set those on the real side there. Okay. So this on next top. one, um, I thought, uh, I think is a super, super cute. So the first thing we did, um, we've got some white um, almond bark here. And we need to make it orange. So Mary, I'm gonna let you yeah. put a little food coloring in there and, and stir it up. Yeah. Oh, let's see. What do you think? Three. Yeah. Three drops. See how that. see how orange it turns okay. in. Um. And so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make little dirt cups. So I bought my grinder that you guys have seen before that I actually use to grind Oreos with because it is a Wonderful. And yes, I bought gluten-free Oreos. Um, I'm a gluten-free girl. But I think we've had these before. And we have, they're not much. Yeah, they're they're very, they're very you're good. adding to it anyway. So. yeah, yeah, it's not the only thing. So you put the top on this and then just oh I over oh, I over it overload it. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. This is part of Edie's body pump ritual. I'm <laughs> yeah. She gives up the lawnmower, a couple bowls. She comes in and does that. Well, that's the right lawnmower is all in my head. <laughs> you want oranger than that? I think that's a good orange. Um, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I'm more of a peachy. Yeah. Um, so, probably what we're going to have to do is make the, do the strawberries, dip them. Yeah, and let him dry. set up it. Yeah, okay. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. So but you know what? We're thinking now. Yeah, because you guys, whenever you see what the strawberries look like when we're done, uh, it's gonna be so cute. And these strawberries, also, I bought these at Walmart. These Walmart. are really pretty <laughs> strawberries. Mm -hmm. And these blueberries, they are all really big. Did you eat one? I haven't eaten. Just eat them. <laughs> So what you do is you take the strawberry, okay, and dip it in the orange. Do you make kind of help you out? Are you getting it? Stuff. It's getting a little thick on us. Spoon a little bit up there on this. There we go. Yeah, no, you don't want to pull the green or Yeah, you want to keep the green. And it's coming off. Yeah. There. Okay. Roll this one around in there a little bit. That works pretty good. Just kind of rolling it. Uh -huh. there, there we go. go. That worked better. Okay. okay. So we're going to let those sit up sit for a minute side. before we go any further with um, that dish. So um, if you have a notebook handy, this is where you might want to turn the page. I'm sure you're writing all of this information down. <laughs> step by step. <laughs> because these are so complicated. Yes. This is like you're watching. I think we have a measuring cup out anywhere. <laughs> I mean, this is like barefoot Contessa mm -hmm. or something, or right. Gianna, or you, you're hearing a spice or something yeah. you've never heard of before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking yeah. It up. exactly. <laughs> That's yeah. Okay, now this one, I honestly, I think I'm going to make this for. It's cute. It and is. This so, is not a sweet treat. No, it is not. So. The little the little bags of the mini bell peppers, like sweet peppers. Yeah, they're multicolored. There's pink, red, and orange ones. So you just you take one and slice it in half, and then um, you take some of the. Um, this is a veggie, a garden vegetable um, cream cheese, like a dip. Yeah, so it's already got the the vegetables chopped up in it. Mm -hmm. 
And so you just take a nice, well, that's going to be too much. This is a skinny pepper here. And so you're just going to fill your pepper, just kind of push it down in there, fill it up nicely. Now, this top part is part of the presentation, so you're going to want to try to smooth it out and make it look a little bit nice. Um, er, there, that's really good. Yeah, just fill it in there. Uh -huh. Okay, now here comes the, the cute key part. part. Exactly. You get some fresh dill and <clears throat> just open this up and scissors take, for you. take a little bit of this. Right, let's let's use this one right here. And I'll lay that there at the top. Oh my gosh, look. You have? It Come looks on. like a little carrot with the greenery on top. It smells so good. I love I dill. dill smells like mm -hmm. It smells really good. So I'm going to lay this up there by my little, um, yeah, these are there. I'm going to lay it right there by my little um, chocolate nest where it can be seen. I'm going to make another one. And there's mine. They, that is so dang cute. It was even cuter in real life than I thought it was going to be. So if you want to wow everybody with probably one of the easiest little, um, what would you call this for your little veggie platter thing? Yeah, you could do it as a veggie platter, mm -hmm. as like a, um, I just totally went blank. You know, just a charcuterie. Yeah, if you were making an Easter charcuterie, yes. how cute would this Super be? Super cute. On that. And you, I mean, if you wanted to make your own like veggie dip, you know, the, yeah, you could do that, but it's already made for you. Just pick some up and then you can use it, mm -hmm. you know, if you are doing a charcuterie board. Yeah. The rest of your finger food. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would recommend the scissors. The stems are a little bit um, strong. So, um, but man, it will perfume. It's yeah. not perfuming uh, this area right here. It's, yeah. It's kind of making my mouth water a little bit again. Yeah. Mine hasn't have, stopped, honestly. I, so I, I don't know what's making it go or. <laughs> so, <laughs> those, I mean, you turn it around, oh, it looks like here. Those are just so, so cute. Wow. We are coming together. Yeah, we are. Yeah, good stuff. That does, those really are adorable. And you know what? I think this thing is it set up. Yours looks like it, maybe. It's very close. Okay. I probably need to slide a little something under it. It's kind of yeah, stuck like to that a, plate, but it's nice. What's yeah, kind of for sure. Set. Like but I mean, you guys, um, you're watching this, so you know that that <laughs> real has, time here. It has to we been, have not stepped away yeah. from the camera. It hasn't been all that long. Okay. So now we're going to take a minute and we're going to assemble our little dirt caps. And so, um. First, um, we'll um, spoon just a little dirt in the very bottom of our oops, that's a cups. Yeah. And again, you can make your own pudding, but yeah, you already have. I mean, pre-made pudding in a cup. Yeah, if you want to just make it super duper easy, which is you know kind of how we roll. Oh, roll. Right. There you go. Oh, thank you. Um, it might take. That whole pudding cup. I'm going to step in a second. So, what you'll do is you'll have your little, you know, you can do whatever kind of cup you yeah. may have. Yeah. And you then see. just going to, I've used the see through or the clear cup see through. That was a weird word to choose. Well, it's still true. Yeah. Um, but you're putting on top of your crushed Oreos. Yeah. And you can put more cookies in the bottom if you want, you know, just however you want to do it. Now you've got Whatever. your layer. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then come back with more dirt up here on the top. And I know you guys are thinking, I can't believe they can do all this amazing stuff right <laughs> before our very eyes. I know you're probably I mean, Yeah, this is this is <laughs> truly. Just okay. We're so this is, this is set up right here now. Look, you just drop your little strawberry down in there, and it's like it looks like a carrot 
How cute! Planted in the dirt, and it's growing. It's ready to be picked. Mm -hmm. Oh my you know, god! You could so put little signs in them. Oh, you know, cute. if you really want to get artsy crafty with uh -huh. it, like for dinner or like Carrots, a party, something five mm -hmm. cents or mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, um, farm fresh, farm fresh. That's it. How cute are those little things? Those little cups right there. Gosh. All of it. They really are. They turned out cute. You know, it's always a risk when you see something, a picture of something, and you try it. Especially I mean, when you do it here live. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the honestly, the meringue cups this morning. I thought, holy cow, maybe I made a mistake with this but I'm telling you what though you they did and you did a great job turned out and I'll tell y'all I used four egg whites a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar and a cup of sugar yeah. and it made 14 at least that big and then at least them, the size of the palm of my hand yeah one of them some of them were even bigger than that so um it makes a lot there's so a, don't think you're going to have just one or two whenever yeah, you start in. They exactly. will multiply. It grows. Somehow that those four egg whites <laughs> grew into four giant. Yeah, I was going to see if I can okay. loosen it here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It it's a little gooey on the bottom. But look, I can already hold it. Mine, like That's in my wet. hand. And so there you go. There's your little egg. Look at that. That is so cute. Very, very cute. And I'm telling you right now, from right here where I'm sitting, it looks like a little nest. I mean, it little, has, the way it's just kind of, you know, rustic. Uh -huh. and Yeah, yeah. So super cute. Um. Anyway, guys, I'm. we sure hope that you had uh, fun with us today, making these cute little springy Easter treats. your interest in yeah, creating treats. treats. Yeah, and um, don't forget to come out Saturday. Yes, please come and see us on Saturday. We won't have any of these treats available. No, they're about to be gone. I so can't put this off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll be gone. Okay. Um, but uh, we we can't wait to see you guys. And um, it's going to be a super fun day. Even if you just have half an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there's something by. for all ages, too. Mm -hmm. We're not just talking, you know, art that's, that children won't get kite making. You yeah, know, music. Oh, oh, and from one to three, um, our new artist in residence, mm -hmm. Alan Ball, mm -hmm. will be here um, opening his show. Mm -hmm. And all of his pieces are for sale. They're all very reasonably priced. Great photography. That's right. So um, it's just a full day. Is it? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, free, free admission. So the theaters are free indoors and outdoors um it's just going to be a great time right. so come on by and join us and you know if you want to if you'd like any of these recipes you can find we will be them. available yeah yeah we can be available so anyway thanks for watching today guys we'll see you saturday that's right that's right happy, happy trails, trails.